today on Swim Swam, I have a super cool person, a woman that's become a friend of mine here, and we're here in La Jolla with Sarah Isakovic. Sarah, how are you today? Hey Mike, I'm great, thank you. Just had an awesome workout, and training in San Diego has been uh, beautiful, so um, couldn't be happier that I'm down here. Well, I think that's big news. You're training yeah. in San Diego. Yes. Um, after London, you didn't really come out and make a huge announcement or anything like that, but you decided you were going to focus on doing some neuro research and you know swimming was something that you would kind of push off in the back, but that's, that's different. Right. That's right. So after London Olympics, I actually took a whole year off. Um, and intentionally, I knew that I have to focus on my new passion in life, which is doing psych uh, research in neuropsychology. Right. And I graduated in May from Berkeley, and I knew that I have to move on with that life too. And after getting um, this opportunity here at UC San Diego for being a lab assistant, I took that on. And as soon as I moved um, to uh, San Diego uh, last June, I that's 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 what I thought I was going to be doing. That that's it. Swimming is done, and that's you know something I'm so passionate about that. I invested myself fully into that until <laughs> I realized that swimming is still really, you know, something that I care about so much and that I can't just let it go. Yeah, it's hard to give up. Now, it's when I saw up. you um, in Tiburon, that's where we met for the yes. first time. Uh, we were up there, it was having a good time, uh, great racing and so forth. And at that point, it was like you joked about, yeah, I'm going to come out and maybe I'll swim masters with you. And I can't <laughs> yeah. even go under 110 for, or 110 yeah. for 100 freestyle. So now you're here at the Kogan Pool in La Jolla. You're training with a new coach. Sure. And you've got your eyes set on the big prize again. I am. So from that joke, it really went into serious business. Um, actually, it, it turned out to be um, very spontaneous. I was down here in La Jolla and I wanted to hang out with someone that comes from my background. And I ca called up Mar Marco Djordjevic, who's um, a Serbian coach down here, um, you know, at Pacific Swim. And I was like, hey, uh, I just kind of want to hang out with someone who knows my language. And that's how we started um, seeing each other and then my passion for swimming kind of just let me back into the water. He was, you know, just so open-minded to it and invited me to the pool. And as soon as I got in, I just felt that, you know, this is it. I, I, still, I still feel so good in the water. Uh, I, tr I started doing um, um, ECOS, which um, is a great te like technology tool that allows me to, like, to put my stroke back in place. So that's the technology that uses the goggles yes. for visualization, correct? That's right. So um, I was fortunate enough to fly to Jacksonville, Florida, where one of my friends introduced me to ECOS. And um, it really put my stroke back in place. I just couldn't believe it. After a whole year of not swimming, I was back in the water, you know, feeling it just as I was feeling it before. Uh, I feel like even better than before. So uh, with that use of those goggles and um, really like activating those, um, you know, swimming neurons in my brain, I really got back into the stroke. Uh, Marco was so on top of everything. He got me back in shape within, you know, a few months. So everything's really going great and I couldn't be happier. Well, I, and it's, it's obvious. It's great to see you out here. You're such an inspiration to all the swimmers <laughs> around here. I mean, everybody's stopping on deck and you're so kind yeah. with everybody. Um, but one of the things I think that's interesting for a lot of people, Sarah, is the fact that obviously you're very well known for that silver medal performance of the 200 freestyle in Beijing. Uh, amazing performance. But what some people may not realize is that your first Olympics was actually in Athens. And how old were you then? I was 16. Yeah, very, very young. Yes, 16 um, in Athens. Um, and of course, you just competed in London. So now you have three Olympics under your belt. And you're looking at number four. I am. What is it that you've learned along the way, and where is it that you hope to go, obviously, in 2016? Right. Um, so, I am. I, I, I feel like I have, you know, plenty of the Olympic experience. All I need is, um, well, so what, so what I really learned is that, well, 16 at 16, I can't say much. I was just so overexcited that I kind of you know, choked a little, <laughs> didn't do as well. But um, Beijing was the highlight of my career. And all I knew back then is how confident I was. Mm -hmm. And what I love today right now is that I'm building that confidence again and I'm feeling it for such, like it's been, it's really been around 
you know, four whole years that I haven't felt that confidence. So, like learning that from Beijing, well, I tried to take it to London, it didn't really work out as much as I wanted it to. Um, and then that's what I think burned me out a little, a little bit because I didn't, I really, I believed in myself, but when, once I stepped on those blocks, I, I don't think my mind was where it was supposed to be. Because there are a lot of different, you know, things that were going on, but um, where I'm really heading now is into the direction that, hey, I know I can still get better every single day. I learned things today and some things today that I haven't done in my entire swimming career. So um, that gets me excited. Uh, I love the coach of like Marco. He, I don't know who has more energy coming to the pool, like him or <laughs> <I>. definitely, definitely <laughs> both very, very energetic. I yeah, can attest and to that. Um, so that's beautiful. So it's, it's great to feel that new energy, new spark, together with building that confidence. And that's all I need to like lead me to Rio because if I get that going, if I also start racing and get in those, you know, confidence swims and and build on what. I already have. I don't think I really lost it. I just need to refine it and get back into it. Um, so, you know, that whole swimming background with new excitement, that confidence back, I really think I can, I can achieve something special. Well, and I think another thing that is very interesting from my perspective, watching you is, obviously you're such a nice person. I mean, you're, you're just super, super cool. If you ever get a chance to talk to Sarah, she's yes. super cool. Uh, but the amazing thing is, you have this ability to go into this extremely focused and driven mindset in the middle of a workout. And I'm not just talking about switch in and out of that, like for one set. You're always, when it's time to go, you go, it's like you flip that switch. So you can be smiley and bubbly, laughing it with Marco, and then boom, the set starts and you're on. Where did you learn that? Or is it something that you just feel is kind yeah. of who you are? I've been told that so many times. They're like, Sarah, when you put that you know, cap and goggles on, you just look so different. And I, I feel like when it's, you know, when I wanna be serious and I'm here to do everything you know that I want to do everything that my coach expects me to do what I expect for myself like I'm in it a million percent and I know that when I'm at the wall and I'm joking around with Marco like okay like hey like laughing is good you know it keeps me happy but then once I turn around and like I look at the water and it's time to go like I just I'm so focused and I I love that because you know I have a good of both worlds and when I when I can be serious, I'm dead serious. And I know work has to be done. And I love waking up every single morning because I'm so excited for every single workout. I don't know what to expect from Marco, but I know it's gonna be great. And every single day, like I walk from the pool and I go to work at UCSD, we just keep texting each other like, hey, workout was awesome. Like, you're awesome, <laughs> I'm awesome, everyone's awesome. <laughs> so, um, I think I'm naturally wired, wired like that, and um, I think a lot of, you know, great champions out there have that ability. Right. Like, I, yep. I take it lightly, but, you know, I'm, when it's time for work, it's time for work. Yeah, I mean, obviously there are a, there's thousands of amazing swimmers out there, yeah. tens of thousands of amazing yeah. swimmers, and what it takes to stand on the Olympic podium is oftentimes that mental aspect. Mm. And, you know, so we're talking obviously about your swimming and what you're bringing to the table there, but you're also a pretty hardcore academic and you studied psychology as an yes. undergrad at Berkeley and now you're doing postgraduate research in neuropsychology at UC San Diego in the area of sport. Do you find that that interest and your performance, mm -hmm. do they feed one another? Oh, definitely. I learned something at work that I think benefits every single day that benefits my training. And um, it's awesome because my lab at UCSD focuses on studying like brain mechanisms of optimal performance. Like how cool is that? That I actually get to study my own brain, like in a, you know, on others. Right. And see like what's going on on the functional and structural level, like in a brain of an elite performer. How do we differ from, you know, the rest of the population? And um, I'm actually doing an awesome swimming study right now where I'm bringing in Olympic medalists to my lab. And um, I got the approval from Dr. Paulus, who's my mentor, like, um, 
that I get to do that. So I'm really excited that we're going to compare the swimming brain data. So all we're going to scan fMRI. We do fMRI brain imaging. We're going to scan all the swimmers and compare their brains to the Navy SEALs and Marines that we already are studying currently. So it's going to be awesome and. It's great that I, I am in that scientific world and I'm involved in research because I really wholeheartedly believe that in the future, athletes are not only going to do you know physical training like we do in the water, but we are going to have brain training sessions, which actually are going on already right now. And um, I'm excited about that because it, it truly like tells all of us that, hey, the mental aspect is probably the most important. Absolutely. We have that, you need the physical preparation, but if you're not mentally prepared, there's no way your body, you know, makes it happen without without that mental preparation. So, I'm just so grateful that I get the good of both worlds, and um, it's definitely going to help me. And you're having fun too. And, and I and, and I think again that's another hallmark. You you bring fun and that gets you through those really, really hard sets. Uh, Sarah, I wanna finish up with so what's the plan? You're now you're coming back. Obviously Rio is there and you can see it in your sights. But what are the incremental plans? Are you there yet? Can you tell us a little bit about what you're gonna be doing with your upcoming competitions and training? Right. Um so what I love about right now is that we're taking it one day at a time mm -hmm. and I can't, you know, promise anything that's going to happen, you know, within two, three, four months or what's going to happen this summer. But right now, I, I still really need to sit down with Marco and we need to plan things out. It's hard because I am just training once a day right now, uh -huh. um, we, you know, together with my job. So it's, you know, I, I kind of have to combine both for a little while. But then when I purely dedicate myself to swimming, we'll decide exactly what the plan is and how we're going to go about it. Um, but yeah, I mean, we're just going to go with the flow and have fun and, you know, go to competitions that are going to be around this area. Um, why not join like a team here? And Club team. <laughs> right on. Well, and, along with other great you know, swimmers like our buddy Darian Townsend yeah. who's out there killing it in Masters right yeah. now and so, so many others. So, so right now it really doesn't matter, you know, where I'm at, what's going on. It's just that I'm getting back into the training. I'm feeling good. I'm feeling confident. I love my new coach and um, I want to share that with everyone because it's so important for me to, you know, share that news uh, with everyone out there that I care about. So, yeah. Well, this has been great. Exciting news for the world of swimming. Yeah. And I, your, your friends and your competitors, I'm sure a little more are going to fear you. But ultimately, you have so much fun with this. You make swimming a better place. And it's always great to see you. Wish you nothing but continued success, Sarah. Mike, thank you so much. Thanks a lot.